New York Fashion Week is just a little over a month away, and this year, some Minnesota creatives will be taking center stage. WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell introduces us to a creative shining a spotlight on the Asian American Pacific Islander and BIPOC communities. The countdown is on for eight Minnesota designers making their debut in the first ever Asian New York Fashion Week in September. I'm really, really excited. At the same time, stressed because we are nearing. AAPI and BIPOC centered Coalesce Collective is fundraising to compensate the designers and dozens of other creatives who will come with them to New York. An inspiration from uh, Sari. So, and also I love florals. <laughs> Divya Devakaran will highlight her Indian heritage through sustainable luxury wear. Oh, I feel very proud about that, being, being an Indian, going to New York and representing uh, Minnesota and Asian communities. So I'm really glad. Kennedy Lohr will show his upcycled pieces. A lot of the pieces here are using uh, secondhand materials. So I go to the thrift store, I source all the yarns and I make them into new things. Maisie Vu will bring her custom couture designs. I'll be showcasing a 12 piece collection completely new um, inspired by my lived experiences and my culture. And Men Fei Lin will showcase her Chinese inspired looks. This is the dress I designed for Shein X programs. The opportunity is a dream come true for the collective which was founded a year and a half ago. During the pandemic uh, we saw that there was a lot of API hate crimes and we really wanted to uh, bring in some positivity for our community. And now, representation in the Big Apple. I feel like a lot of AAPI designers and creatives have always longed to be in this, um, I guess, this capacity, this platform. To get that recognition um, for New York and hopefully for people to see and um, have a piece of us as well. So. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. Just 23 designers from across the world were selected for Asian New York Fashion Week. Eight of them are from here in Minnesota. We have details on how you can support them on our website, WCCO.com.